everybody. So let's say, for example, back in 2015 or 2016, you bought a brand new computer with Windows 10 pre-installed. And let's say, for example, it wasn't even a low-end machine. It was more of a, let's say, a mid-range system. Let's say something like an Intel Core i3 or i5 or maybe an i7 um, with 4 gigs of RAM or 8 gigs of RAM, probably 16 gigs of RAM, and a 500 gig hard drive or 1 terabyte hard drive. You bought this computer brand new in 2015 or 2016 and it came with Windows 10 pre-installed and you have noticed over the years that that computer has gotten very slow. Um, Windows 10 seems to run very slow on it and if it's new enough to support Windows 11 you may notice that Windows 11 runs very slow on it. Well there is a reason behind that and one of the biggest reasons is for the fact that Windows 10 over the years of its support cycle has grown significantly it's gotten a lot fatter. It's gotten a lot heavier on the computer. And computers, let's say, that were manufactured in 2015 and 2016 when Windows 10 first came out, um, those computers would run Windows 10 1507 or 1511 or 1607 or let's say even 1709. Those feature builds would run reasonably well on that hardware. But once you started getting up into, let's say, um, 21H2, 22H2, those newer builds, they started getting a lot heavier and those computers would run significantly slower on that hardware. And I have at least one if not two videos up on this channel demonstrating Windows 10 getting heavier on the same hardware over the years and running significantly slower. I mean, for example, the system requirements for Windows 10 are a 1 gigahertz CPU, 2 gigs of RAM, and 20 gigs of hard disk space for the 64-bit version of Windows 10, and a DirectX 9 graphics card with WDDM um, 1.0 support, or better. And those specs are very low end. Now, of course, Windows 10 is the last version of Microsoft Windows to have low end system requirements to just run the OS. Now, of course, we know Windows 11 takes a whole different approach which is where I come up with the nickname Microsoft Elite Class System Requirements Windows 11 because those requirements are insanely high and you can actually run Windows 11 just fine on hardware that's way below those requirements and I'll be talking about that in a different video but let's say for example you have a computer Windows 10 that you bought let's say in 2015, 2016 or in 2017 heck I know examples of computers that were manufactured in 2018 that uh, were running Windows 10 22H2 very slow and for example, Windows 11, of course, bypassing the Elite Class System requirements and running Windows 11 on those systems in stock form would run very slow. So, there are a couple of things you can do to help improve the performance of your computer. Let's say you still have Windows 10 on it or you're looking to install Windows 11 on it. The first thing I'd recommend is if your computer was shipped with a hard disk drive, you would want to swap that out for a solid state drive. This is a little bit of a process if you're looking to transfer your existing disk data from your hard drive to the new SSD. Um, if you're just looking to clean install, it would be a good opportunity to do that upgrade because it's a whole lot easier in that regard. But going from a hard drive to an SSD would make a huge improvement on your system performance because let's face it, a lot of computers back in the earlier days of Windows 10 shipped with hard drives. And that's honestly why a lot of computers that came with Windows 10 especially during the earlier days of Windows 10, like the 2010s, when SSDs were still a little more expensive, those computers running, for example, 22H2 Windows 10, the performance will not be that great. But if you were to swap out that hard drive for a solid state drive, you would notice a huge improvement in performance in most cases. Even if you have, let's say, a lower end processor, like let's say an Intel Pentium or Core i3, um, Another thing you can do to that system would be to beef up the system memory. Now, doing the SSD alone, in many cases, would make a huge improvement, and chances are that's probably the only thing you need to do, especially if your computer already came with, let's say, 8 gigs or 16 gigs of RAM. Um, so if your computer did come with a lower amount of memory, there are many cases you can upgrade that system memory, especially if it's a desktop system. Now, a laptop, um, generally, yeah, you can. It just depends on the model of the machine. But those are two big things you can do to your Windows 10 computer to help improve performance of it if you're looking to stick with Windows 10 or if you're looking to force install Windows 11 on that hardware. So, yes, 
that's the biggest the biggest reason for Windows 10 computers to seemingly run very slow is because many computers that show up with Windows 10 were designed to run the original Windows 10 which was significantly lighter than the later builds of Windows 10. So anyways, hope that's helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.